Hakastel. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another special Indonesian episode of Fungo's Food. You guys know that we cover the more mainstream Indonesian food, but as you know, just like any big country, food really varies from region to region. But in Indonesia's case, island to island. And today, that specific island that we're referring to is called Borneo, Borneo aka Kalimantan. Sayalapar. That means I am hungry in Bahasa Indonesian. Thank you, Google Translate. All right, we gotta get started on some drinks because I got the Chendol. For me, Chendol, it always tastes like Captain Crunch. Richard, what do you got? Man, I got the ultra refreshing chrysanthemum tea. There's a flower in that cup right there. Uh, Check this out. I got the Kopi Coca. I don't know if I said that right. Mm. Kind of tastes like a uh, Asian frappuccino. So here, I got a very popular nutritional chocolate milk drink, Milo. I know they drink a lot of this in Southeast Asia. Oh, <laughs> sate. Yo, sate. Oh, bro. Keep it coming, keep it coming, man. Now we go, my back to back. Oh man, not again. Ah! David, are we in Indonesia right now? You know, we're in a place that's pretty close. Alhambra, California. Ow! Have you ever had Indonesian food? What about Malaysian food? Singaporean food? This is like a mix of all of them. The trifecta! So Borneo is a part of Indonesia that's actually really close to Malaysia and Singapore, and this food is like a fusion of all three. Let's waste no more time, guys. Let's, Let's get, get into it. it. Appetizers. I got rojak, I got prata. I got the saute I am, aka chicken skewers. And I got the gado gado. <laughs> mix mix. <laughs> rojak, which also means messy. You got the shrimp crackers here. Here we got the roti prata. Always good to break bread with your homie. Mm, real coconutty. Yo, yeah. this look juicy. Look, it's got two sides. Okay. It's got the charred side, it's got the sauce okay. side. What more needs to be said about gado gado? Gado gado. Gado, gado, gado. But there's different styles of gado gado. Indo Kitchen is more Java style. This is Borneo style. I'm gonna put this all on the shrimp cracker like this. I'm making the gado nachos again. You see me in the Indo Kitchen uh, video, I did that. Oh. Okay. I'll tell you this, those noodles are real bouncy. Straight out of Borneo. Don't be corny, yo. Straight out of Borneo. Yo, this was really good, man. This Borneo locks it definitely has kicked, but not too much. Soto Punto, oxtail soup. You know me, I love me some oxtail. I'll be chasing some tail, let's just say that. Two types of stir fried flat rice noodles. Kway Tao Siriam, Kway Tao Goreng. Did you notice they use a lot of fish cake? I think it really works in a uh, fried form. Right. This is the new Supreme Drop right here. If you guys want to try the egg salad sandwich of noodles minus the mayo, get this Kway Tao cereal. Nasi. 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 Nasi means rice. And to some people, nasi means life. Oh, oh my gosh. There's 20 different styles of fried rice. Indonesian style is top three in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a red style that has an egg on top, right? This one, they fried the egg inside kind of more like the uh, traditional style fried rice. Every region in Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, they all have their own version of nasi lemak. This is their version of nasi lemak in Borneo. Borneo style. So, busting out the bendo. Oh, you guys! I found Nemo. Nah! On to our last rice dish, nasi champur. So we got sausage, the red yeast chashu, got the fried chicken, you got the egg, you got cucumbers, and then you got some sauce for the rice. Oh man, not again. Can we item compare combo? it to like a uh, bento box where it has like a little bit of everything. If you're in the mood for some veggies, you just need more cucumber that day. Yo, check out this bite. So I got fried chicken, I got the red yeast pork, and I got the sausage. All right, you guys, you cannot talk about Borneo Kalimantan cuisine without two different types of noodles. Hokkien style and Hakka style. All right, so Hakka people and Hokkien people are types of Chinese, but since coming from China, they've moved down into Southeast Asia a long time ago, and they've mixed in with the culture. Makan. 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 For me, I've been here before, I'm not gonna lie, and I like the Hokkien chewy noodles. Oh, I like the hawker. Me is noodles, got it means rubber. These are the rubber noodles. That's how chewy they are. <laughs> These noodles right here are in between the thin wavy noodles and the thick rubber noodles. You gotta talk a little bit how they come with the side soup right here. For me, to be honest, even though sometimes on certain dishes like chiu chow noodles, they come with soup on the side, I like to just throw the soup on top. I like to eat it the dry style and then drink the soup. These guys are talking about combining the soup. Why would they give it to you separate in the first place if they wanted you to just throw them all together? 
All right, we gotta talk about these two different sauces. They're actually not different, they're both sambal. This one that doesn't have a label on it is just the regular sambal. This one that says Nasi Kampur was meant for the Nasi Kampur dish and has shrimp paste in it. Is this okay? Yeah. Oh, you put me onto this. I, I'm like looking, is this Indomie? Is this Migoran? What is it? I don't know. Let me tell you this, man. In Southeast Asia, a lot of the food is mixed and it's really hard to point out and hone in on which thing is from which country because they're so close together. Yo, 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 you guys know what I just noticed? What? That even though we're at a restaurant, all this food is kind of cooked hawker style. Hawker style? Hawker style? Hawk, 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 hawker style? I heard this on the internet, that this is the only Borneo Kalimantan style restaurant in the entire US. Oh! oh. Uh, what percentage of people would you say eat here and then end up finding out more about where it comes from? I say 50-50. To be honest, I do think a lot of the people that eat here uh, do have some sort of roots to Indonesia. We ordered a ton of Borneo Kalimantan food. What are your takeaways? It's kind of cool to see how they take influences from all these different countries and they create these dishes right here. I think it's just so dope to be exposed to various like versions or provincial cuisines within yeah. countries. From what I understand, a lot of the food that's like considered mainstream Indonesian food in America, which I love is from Java. This is from Borneo. And for me, I just love digging into like identity because a lot of people I think out there have complex identities and it's difficult to explain to them. And I think on our channel, we love to use food to delve into it. And for example, because America is such like a well-known country, a lot of people kind of know the different regions. They know New York, they know LA. And Indonesia, like a lot of people, they just kind of clumping Indonesia as one thing. But to be honest, there's so many different islands and it's such a big country and there's so much variation. It's kind of like being transported to another world. Right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that special Indonesian episode of Foam Rose Food. Make sure Ooh. in the comment section below, you let us know one, what you thought of this food from Borneo. Number two, what's another lesser known region of Asia that you want us to cover their specific style of food? But until next time, we out. Sampai Jumpa. Alright guys, thanks for checking out that video. Shout out to the Fun Brothers. Make sure you check out this video. Also check out this video. Yo, for me, being Southeast Asian, Vietnamese, it's just cool trying out all these new foods and seeing all the different cultures and influences they have. Until next time, we're out. Peace.